everybody, it's Chatter here at launch now with your champions 59218B and 45434M. An incredible set. If you watch the finals, some of the best finals I have seen in all of uh, pushback. John, I got to start with you asking about uh, this process as you've gotten into the elimination rounds. Can you just walk me through a little bit uh, how you were able to seed so well? What were some of your keys to success leading up to it? I mean, keys to success was a lot of confidence. We were confident in our robot, we were confident in our driver, we were confident in our strategy, and we basically steamrolled through every single match. Um, every single match basically was 30 point advantage for us. Only one match was close. So seeding, we were confident. No teams would pick us. We tried looking to other teams. No teams would go with us. So we went with the lower seed, someone we were confident with, someone we played with, Meltdown, and it turned out to be the best choice of our whole day, obviously. What do you think made them most compatible with you? Uh, they were extremely good at defending. They marketed themselves as good at offense, but I saw immediately they're great at defending, great driver, and their autonomous complemented ours perfectly. They have a massive right side auton. We have a massive left side auton, so that perfectly complemented each other. You guys pretty much dominated uh, your playoff run into finals, right? So a lot of great success for that. What was some of the strategy like and discussions leading into finals, like in round of 16 quarters and semis? It was mainly a 2v1 strategy, but we realized very soon we were able to get both top goals. So we started staying more to two top goal strategy and only branching out when we needed to. And since we have a very unique low goal score, we were able to score in low goal very easily. And that kind of made us uh, the team that we are uh, today. Yeah. Ben, I also got to congratulate you guys on excellent award as well, too. So getting a, a couple of uh, those uh, amazing crowns at this event. Finals was absolutely insane. Uh, your alliance was able to take uh, auto the first two rounds for it. You guys won the first match. So after that first match, can you walk me through a little bit of that strategy? And then uh, how did anything change amongst your communications with your alliance partners? So in the first match, we saw that it worked. So we knew coming into the second match that the opposing team would try to change up something to try to get the win. And so we realized what we need to do is we need to go on that 2v1 strategy John was talking about, but play a little differently. Instead of defending the left goal, we decided after Autonomous that me defending the right goal would work better and we would just switch points. But that didn't end up working for us. So then coming into the third match, what we actually did is we knew that we needed to hit park. But if I've learned anything from watching countless matches, is that you need to get those middle goals. You can have one long goal as long as you can serve at least one of the top or bottom middle goals. I want to ask you a little bit more about Autonomous on there. Uh, it was interesting to watch where you saw the other alliance that seemed to score in the middle goal first, and you guys were looking in after us a lot of times and push that back out. Uh, when you were looking at going in the finals, did your Autonomous strategy change at all amongst those matches? So what we tried doing was, as you said, they came first in the middle goal, then we came. Um, what we were trying to do was we were trying to push theirs out, but our coding actually failed. We were coding it for the last match. It didn't download in time. Uh, Raj here was actually coding it as we speak, but then we realized we don't have enough time. We didn't have to wing it. We lost all time. Um, so it was uphill battle from there, but luckily we were able to get some of the top goal and Meltdown's Auton worked, so it was able to counter it and we had got blocks in the game. In that final three match, we saw so much back and forth between control of the zones. What were some of the communications like between your two teams on when you're going to go for a long goal or a mid goal or anything like that? I just knew coming into finals, we were going against probably the two best D scoring robots here. We knew they were incredible. We watched all their matches leading up to it. So we knew that D scoring would be the biggest thing. It could easily swing a match. So we knew um, that, that they would try to play a 2v1 strategy because in finals one, they 2v1 me and they were able to get the goal, which ended up leading them winning. So we knew that we could do the same thing against them. So we would use that 2v1 strategy to ensure we get the long goal. Last thing I want to ask you is, uh, at the end of Finals 3, there's a lot of communications uh, amongst the referees and that sort of thing. What was some of the information that you were getting on your lines before you found out you got that victory? Yes, yeah, so we were just talking back and forth. We, It was the other team arguing, so we didn't actually know a whole lot until the end. But they were arguing a pin, but there was no count, so it just ended up counting as nothing. But we were, we scored it, and we weren't sure. We did have one illegal match load, so we knew we were down three points from the final score. So that had us really nervous, but we ended up taking the, the victory. Well, both teams, congratulations on an incredible victory. We can't wait to see you both at Vex Rolls. Once again, these are your launch champions. We can't wait to see how they do throughout the rest of the year. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.